thank you very much. Uh, it is my greatest pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm very thankful to uh, President uh, Jose Mendez uh, and Dr. Zain, who organized, and Maria, uh, for inviting me. And uh, it is my greatest pleasure to be here. We, in cardiology, uh, have been working uh, for several years now uh, to do the aortic valve replacement. So I'll start with a clinical case so that uh, we understand that what I'm talking about. So this is a very simple thing, that there is a 75-year-old gentleman who comes with no prior cardiac history, who comes with shortness of breath, no chest pain, no lightheadedness, good blood pressure, and now is complaining of shortness of breath with exertion. Uh, he has a late peaking murmur, so this is aortic stenosis. And if you do an echocardiogram, uh, what you find is the aortic valve, which is the valve that lets the, all the blood come out, is not opening fully. And you can see here in the cross-sectional view that the aortic valve should open completely, but it only opens that much here. And this is a three-dimensional echocardiogram, and it shows the same that the aortic valve is not opening. What do we do for this patient? So when you measure the pressure, pressure difference between the left ventricle and the aorta, normally there is no pressure difference between the in systole, the aortic pressure is same as left ventricular pressure. In aortic stenosis, the left ventricle has to pump at a very high pressure to get the same pressure in the aorta. So there is a big pressure difference in the aorta. What is the treatment for this? So normally,